Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about foreign policy and oil. We're going to do this because President Biden issued a pretty routine run-of-the-mill statement to OPEC asking them to pump out more oil. When he did this, a whole lot of people expressed their displeasure. Um, They suggested that we shouldn't be buying oil from other countries, that we should use our own, America first and all that. After all, we do have the 11th largest oil reserves in the world. Why are we dealing with those people? Right? America first. When you say it like that, 11th largest known oil reserves, that sounds like a lot. It it does. I mean, it sounds like a lot. Even if you put it into barrels, that sounds like a lot because it's like 35 billion barrels of oil. That's about 2% of the world supply. So let's say we exercise this plan and we stop importing oil and we just use our own. We just use our own reserves and we keep up current levels of consumption. We would run out of oil before the end of Biden's second term, assuming he has one. We have a little less than five years. Our oil reserves in the United States are just a little less than five years of our annual consumption. For comparison, Saudi Arabia, um, which is second, I believe, in known oil reserves, Um, They have enough to run their country for little more than two centuries. So, if we were to exercise this Make America Great, America First plan, in five years, the United States would actually be dependent on foreign oil. We would run out of our own, right? So then, well, we would truly be at the mercy of these oil-producing nations. We're not right now. It may seem like it because we buy a lot from them, and they can charge us for it. But they can't charge too much because it's foreign policy. Not about right and wrong, not about good and evil, not about ideology. It's about power, right? See, we have this wild thing called the U.S. military. And while the U.S. does not pillage, that's a war crime, we don't do that, we don't go into foreign countries and just take their oil, that would be wrong. Uh, The U.S. military is more than capable of going into a country and politically realigning it. That means getting rid of the leadership and installing a new leadership that would sell us oil. If we don't have the U.S. military because we have exhausted our own reserves, well, we can't do that. And the United States is done. It is no longer a superpower because other nations, OPEC, can just turn off our oil supply. And then we can't go politically realign them. I mean, do you have any idea what the miles per gallon on an Abrams is? I think it's like six. The U.S. military needs oil. What I'm describing right now, I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying it's the way it is. And the America first approach of using our own reserves first so we don't buy it from other countries. I mean, sure, if you absolutely want to destroy the United States, go right ahead. I mean, that's a great idea. Perhaps if your favorite talking head was saying this, Maybe you need a different favorite talking head because this this is pretty simple to understand. It's not even uh, a secret. You know, right now, this is kind of an unspoken foreign policy. But it wasn't always unspoken. In fact, from 1975 to 2015, it was more or less illegal to export oil because our overall strategy is to use everybody else's first. And as you... Think about these numbers and understand five years. 
maybe uh, allow that to influence your decision when it comes to things like electric cars and moving towards other forms of energy. It might be a little bit more of a motivating factor. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.